Hi and welcome to DCO. My name is David Capetti. In this video, I'll be sharing with you how I designed this box that has dados and all of the details that you would have in a cabinet. And also um, at the end, I laid it out using Open Nest so you can take your design, unfold it, and place it inside of sheets for fabrication. So I'll be sharing with you how I created this script. I don't have the full tutorial as this was one that took a bit of time and um, I just want to share with you the overall design, but I will have it available on my website, capettidavid.com, under the free tab on my website. So thank you very much for being here, and let's jump into the design for this. So what I did was I started with a base cabinet design. Now, this is the entire script from beginning the initial design here then how I organized it so I could then unroll it and put it into open nest and then here is the open nest script that then takes the information here places it down here and shows you how it's organized from one all the way to however many um, items we have and then it lays them out on a sheet specific sheet size with the numbers and everything color-coded to match so let's start here with the script. What I'll do is I'll take all of this stuff and I'll hide it. We don't need to look at it yet. We'll start with the base design, which is this cluster. This cluster I'll also have available later on just by itself on the store and also under the script vault. But what I did was started with this base design and there are two options that we have here at the end. One with no holes and one with holes. And you'll see the two different options um, this is one of the things that I wanted to have is when you create a design, sometimes you want two different options, one to have a specific portion of the design and the other one not to have that. So on this one, what I'll do is I'll double click and show you how it was created in here, but not so much how it was created. I think what's cool are the details you'll see here. Uh, so I'll go here to this one with holes. I'll select it, middle click and bake. Then I'll take this and I'll move it here to the side. We'll go to shaded mode and then do zoom selected so I can take a look. What we have is this door. This, uh, this door just fits perfectly on the outside. Then we have the dados on the side for the shelf. Then we have the shelf that goes into it. And then we have the spacing for the holes. The back portion also has a few details. So let's um, take this and hide it. Like this um, dado in the back. And all of these are parameters that we can play with. So I'll take this, I'll delete it, bring back the design. And I'll hide the door. And you'll see that all of these Details are things that we can change. So starting with the height. The depth. We'll keep the depth at 24, the width at 30. And then the height will do 32. Here we have the data in the back, so how that is uh, spaced, the material size, so that's the thickness of the material here, and so on. What is really the impressive thing about this, because I've done some cabinet designs where I've shared how to create it from beginning to end, but more than anything is once you have the design, we are able to take the script, turn it into a cluster, like this and so now we have two options one with holes one without holes and then here we have other options that are going to be the text and text size for um, the open nest so we'll go here and go to the open nest portion i'll select this and preview and i'll disable the preview on this now you can see the overall design color coded. So the cool thing about this is that now we're able to visually see where 
portions of the design are going to go. They are organized here numerically from one all the way to seven. We have text that we can shift and change the size. Then it lays it out here on the sheets and we can change if we change this design. So if we go, let's say the depth to be or the width to be 12. You see that now we have the ability to put it all on one sheet and it does it all automatically and organizes it here. So that is the power of using openness and being able to organize your information is here. We can change the sheet size, the spacing for the text, um, and all of these details are going to be mostly on the fabrication end where you have everything labeled accordingly to this overall design here. So hopefully you find that interesting. I will have this available for free, like I mentioned, on my website, capetidavid.com. I want to um, get more into the fabrication end of the design, and I wanted to share this overall. Although some of this information here could be cleaned up a little bit more, I wanted to share with you this script that has the initial design, this part that organizes and flattens the information here, and then we have the openness portion that creates the sheets for fabrication. Thank you very much for being here. Um, I hope you enjoy this video. I post videos like these every week. Um, sometimes they're more exercises. Sometimes they are complex scripts like this. So stay tuned and um, we'll get into more tutorials. See you on the next one.